I often see researchers struggling a lot with understanding why they're on the team that they're on. Why is it that that group of people thought that a researcher was meaningful to have, especially when they seem to be having trouble even getting alignment on the need to do the research? And I think this happens because the researcher hasn't spent enough time trying to figure out what pain that they were brought on that team to fix. So that team was feeling some kind of pain or they thought that a researcher would help them unlock some kind of opportunity that they weren't going to unlock otherwise. So what are the things that that team is scared about? Are they concerned that they're going to waste time? Is that they're concerned that they're going to waste money? Is it that they're concerned that their competitor is going to get there before they do? Is it they're concerned that they're going to lose their clients? There needs to be a reason or a pain that they think that you can solve with a researcher. And once you're able to figure out what that is, use your right research shops on that, then you can start linking that into what you want to get done as a researcher and start being able to advocate for your users in a meaningful way. But if you don't know why they want you there, then you're never going to be able to do a great job linking what you're doing to what they need. Or perhaps you might serendipitously, but it's a lot harder than if you've done this intentionally and thought through what you're doing.